my personal belief is this. If you want to take the Old Testament, you can build a solid case for the death penalty. Uh, in the Old Testament, it says, Thou shalt not kill, but if you shed the blood of an innocent person, your life shall be taken. So there's a good argument for it. You come to the New Testament, and the New Testament speaks of grace and forgiveness and whether we should forgive an individual uh, for whatever he has committed. And so there's another side to it. And, of course, you, could, you can become very liberal in that and say we should we give him just a very light sentence, or you can say, well, we should do something, but it should not be the death penalty. My personal belief is, and I base this biblically, uh, the scribes and Pharisees came to Jesus, and they said, is it lawful to pay taxes? And mm -hmm. rather than answer their question directly, Jesus picked up a coin, and he said, or he said, ask for a coin, and then they gave him one, and he says, whose inscription is on it? And he said, Caesar's. And he said, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, render unto God that which is God's. And so I've come to the conclusion that the death penalty is not a spiritual issue. It's not a Christian issue. This is our government. Uh, it's what our government has said we will do, and we will abide by that. And so from that basis, I come over to Romans, where there it tells us that we should... Uh, uh, render under the higher authorities and higher powers over us. And if our government says that we'll go with a life sentence, I'll agree with that. If our government says we go with the death, death penalty, I must accept that. Reverend Toombs, well, I don't know if he's a reverend or not, but it, it, here at Potosi, we don't consider him as a reverend. We consider him as a, as a as an officer, as a guard, because he do more of an officer, officer's duties than he does of a, a reverend. You know, I mean, he, he don't have no uh, concern words or no condolences for uh, execution or, you know, he don't have a sympath sympathetic ear. You know, he's, he's primarily, when you, when you come time for them to search your cell or, 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 or put on their goon squad gear, he's one of them, you know. And he's, he's barking orders and, and carrying his nightstick just like fellow officers. You know, so it's hard to relate to him in any type of fashion, you know, whether you... Uh, a death in the family or whatever, you know, it's just like saying you're going, you might as well go and talk to the guard.